Hi, I'm Jay Green with CNET, and I'm here with John Rose. John runs North American operations, uh, the R&D operations for Huawei, which is a giant telecom company that uh, I think a lot of Americans don't know much about. Um, tell me how Huawei can make more inroads with U.S. carriers. Well, I think the, the biggest way for us to make more inroads with U.S. carriers is to actually engage more with the overall U.S. market. So, you know, in the last year, we've launched an enterprise business that includes the United States. Our consumer business is growing. So we're now touching more of the ecosystem. And so carriers, while they care about their core infrastructure, they also care about serving their enterprises. And so if we're selling to enterprises, there's a reason for carriers to work with us. If we're selling great consumer technologies, tablets, MiFi, smartphones, that give them an economic and technology advantage, again, there's a reason for them to work with us. And ultimately, having a more comprehensive view of the total ecosystem of ICT makes us more relevant to all of the parts of it. So I think that's really the overall strategy. And do you think um, that there, there's a lot of mistrust uh, in Congress, in particular, about Huawei? Do you think? Just simply um, addressing or uh, expanding into those markets will actually address the con those concerns? Uh, not by itself. Obviously, being a good corporate citizen and selling more gear in less controversial areas that are relevant to more people is a good start. But the most important thing that we have to do is engage. We have to basically be very, very focused on telling our story, uh, uh, explaining that this is a massive company that's almost 100% focused on development of great technology. And when people understand that much of the innovation of the industry, much of the new standards of the industry is coming out of Huawei on a global scale, when people in the United States understand that, whether they're politicians or just consumers, it changes the tone around the company. So, yep, it's great to sell more stuff, but at the same time, we actually have to tell the story and engage at all levels, which is part of the dialogue that we're having now. Yeah, is telling the story a challenge for Huawei? Huawei's a Chinese company. Yeah. Uh, it has humble roots in many ways. I is that hard to get the company to actually express itself? Well, yeah, I think, I think you're absolutely correct. The company is very humble. Well, you know, it's always been very customer focused, wanted to stay below the radar, didn't really focus on telling its story loudly because when you sell to carriers, your only customer that really matters is the carrier. If they know your story, you're good. But as you expand into other markets and other technology areas, it is important to kind of get out of your shell. Now, one of the ways Huawei's done that is not necessarily asking the existing people in Huawei that were very comfortable kind of being behind the radar right. to do this, but by encouraging us to expand our footprint in terms of the talent pool. People like myself or the organizations we're building and overseas organizations like the United States actually tremendously helps us uh, have a better talent pool that speaks the local language, that understands the local culture, can engage and communicate much more effectively. And with that, as a part of this whole global company, we have a much more effective execution capability of being able to tell that story. Has Huawei been uh, ineffective in the past? Have they made mistakes? Uh, absolutely, everybody makes mistakes. I think uh, you know by by focusing inwardly, we 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 missed an opportunity to tell the story over the last ten years, which is a fantastic story. Uh, especially in places like the United States. And so now we're playing a bit of catch up. And I think, you know, you're seeing us much more visible now than you have over the last year or two years. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that is because we were a little too quiet in the past. And now we're having to accelerate this process. So in a perfect world, if we could replay time, yeah, we would have started this process a lot earlier. And we would have told the gradual evolution of Huawei's story over a much longer time frame. So people were not surprised that we just showed up as a $32 billion company and surprised them. Right. You know, and the reality is we are a $32 billion company. And we got there one deal and one product and one person at a time. But most people didn't see that in the Western world. By the time they realized we were here, suddenly we were a very large entity and there was a bit of mystery around it. And then we had to basically begin the education process maybe a little later than we would have liked to. John, thanks again. I really appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. I'm Jay Green for CNET. Thanks so much.